Hello, Techman subscribers, followers, and lovers. Today we'll be talking about what kind of push notification server is good for your startup app, and uh, which one costs less, and which one is uh, hiding a uh, cost behind the walls by attracting you, saying no cost, right? So let's have a look together and see how we can compare the most promising three different platforms so we'll be comparing firebase we'll be comparing pusher and one of my favorites will be comparing uh, the expo dev server which is kind of free as it says as firebase and as pusher with their sandbox free environment right so let's get jump into it and discuss which one we should use which uh, in terms of ease of implementation in terms of how much it's going to cost in terms of how much uh, uh, load it uh, can bear uh, when you're launching your startup etc etc okay so let's get started and when you are building a new app uh, based on react native or um, native ios android app or based on flutter that you would need a backend server to send your uh, notification to these devices okay so either you can send it from your own backend server for example if you're coding it on node.js or you know laravel symphony all the backend ser server languages and then you need to send it to the server your preferred server for example if your preferred server is expo backend server or if you choose to go with firebase or if you choose to go with pusher and that backend server will then push them to firebase for android and for apns for um, apple devices so this is the basic of how your um, push notification works now let's have a look at different servers which uh, is available in the market for example the first one is firebase so as it says on its uh, homepage that uh, you can send notification across all the platforms at no cost now it's actually true that they don't charge for any notification but remember one thing that in order to send a push notification uh, you need to actually grab your device's um, token. For example, um, oh, save changes. So, for example, if you are using an iPhone, then you will need a, a token which you need to store, and that token needs to be so stored in your backend service um, or in your app or wherever you want to store it. And that will identify this particular device whenever we send a push notification um, via our server. Now, when it comes to Firebase, what they usually um, tell you about costing is sending the push notification is free. But they never tell you that in order to send a push notification via Firebase, you need to store well, you don't have to, but it's easier to store uh, your um, device, your user's device token in Firebase database. Now, the moment you start talking about the Firebase database, that means it incurs cost. It incurs cost because when you create um, a collection in Firebase database, um, it, it started charging you for every read and write message. For example, when you capture the token from your devices and store it in your database, that's one write. So, so obviously, Fire Store Firebase will charge you for the write. And then when you want to send the message, for example, if you're creating a chat app and you want to send a message to a another uh, user in the chat you need to figure out their token right with their user id and that's your read uh, transaction and for both read and write they will charge you so beware of that cost because it says that it's um, in no cost but it has some cost now if you're uh, smart enough you can actually store that token in your own database wherever you're managing it you know and then retrieve it from there and then use Firebase um, messaging service, which is the Firebase uh, cloud messaging, uh, FCM, 
um, you know to send the message but it gets a little bit complicated when you start coding for that purpose okay so now let's move on to the pusher now pusher is quite straight uh, straightforward service it's managed by a message bird company i've used them before for uh, getting uh, otps text messages for other services now when you go to their um, channel pricing they have a very good uh, amount of messages you can send them with uh, concurrent connection and if you go on their beams section uh, they have a free channel for 1000 subscriber now again if you're coding something which is uh, going to be significantly big in very uh, less time then obviously i you won't prefer to pay um much uh, you know at early stages but uh, you know some people just love it because it's very easy to implement i mean come on uh, look at this if any use case um, you have all these languages which is already available to implement it and uh, you can literally send the notifications uh, using one of these uh, snippets here and then copy it in your code what i what i don't understand is Pusher hasn't provided any client side uh, SDK, for example, for React Native or for Flutter. And that's a little bit, uh, you know, tricky. Um, whereas um, when you go for Firebase, you have React Native uh, Firebase uh, um, library, which you can use in order to send a notification. Yeah, so that's, that's there. So Firebase is free has a hidden price pusher is not free well it's free in a way uh, for 200k messages per day but then it's not free and then the third one we are talking about today is the expo uh, push notification so now here obviously everybody knows that the expo is a open source uh, platform and they're trying to keep it uh, free as far as i am aware of and you know their setup guys is quite setup guide is quite interesting we'll be making more videos on this one uh, later and once you grab the token you store it in your database and then that's pretty much it you send the notification with expo push api which is the diagram which we were looking at later so i would s suggest that if you're starting up a new app and if you don't want to invest much money at this point of time then um, the expo server expo backend option is the best option for now uh, but obviously you can go for uh, for pusher or firebase if you want to so this is this is what my analysis is on which push notification service is good for you as a startup uh, but now you know and you can make your decision so let me know in comments which one you have chosen and why all right cheers thank you